Hi Brodies, Marvin here from TechBureau.com where we do unboxings, reviews, and sexy bureaus. And today we're taking a look at what I think is the new best budget 60% mechanical keyboard out in the market right now, at least for the pre-built ones. We're talking about the legit Unpro 2 killer, the Keymove Snowfox 61. For the longest time now, the Unpro 2 has been the go-to budget 60% mechanical keyboard but it is missing a few key features that we now have with the Keymove Snowfox 61 like the adjustable stand, physical buttons not only for power but for OS compatibility as well, a larger battery, newer Bluetooth technology, and most importantly, a hot swappable board. In this video, we'll focus on those key features and see if this is indeed the new best budget 60% mechanical keyboard. With that being said, let's get into it. Alright guys, right off the bat, starting from the packaging, you'll definitely feel that this keyboard stands out from the rest of the pre-built options when it comes to 60% keyboard. The packaging is well thought of with a window preview in front and a diagram of a mechanical switch. And flipping it on this side, we have the different variants and it looks like what we have here is the DK61 Gateron Switch Bluetooth variant. Flipping it on the other side, we just have a massive 60% mechanical keyboard text and a Keymove branding on both sides. Turning it all over at the back side, we have the key features of this keyboard as well as the operating system compatibility and a preview of the keyboard itself. Now, let's see what comes in the package. So this is actually a slide up type design which is always awesome for the unboxing experience. And upon opening the box, again, you'll feel that this one is quite unique compared to most budget 60% mechanical keyboard. It even includes a few switches in different variants that you can add to your collection and this also gives us an idea about our customization options with the hot swappable board of this keyboard. Aside from that, we also have a nice plastic dust protection and the keyboard itself is nicely protected by a couple of foam padding. Inside the box, we also have a nice braided USB Type-C cable with a Velcro strap and an angled Type-C plug. Aside from that, we have this nice wire keycap puller which is way better compared to the usual plastic keycap puller. And not only that, the switch puller included is also better compared to the typical small and hard to use switch puller on some budget 60% mechanical keyboards. And lastly, we have a small but substantial user manual right here. Now, at first look and touch, the Keymove Snowfox 61 has a decent weight to it of around 663 grams, give or take, and has a pretty solid build quality without much flex on the body. In terms of aesthetics, although it looks quite similar to most 60% keyboards, it does have a few design elements that are quite unique. For starters, it has a unique black lining around the keyboard with a rather glossy finish that I'm not totally sold about but definitely a step forward towards a different direction compared to most standard and boring look of a typical 60% keyboard. Flipping it in front, we can have a better view of that dual tone design and the overall front side profile of this keyboard. And flipping it on its side, as you can see, the design is definitely unique and gives us a breath of fresh air while giving us the same clean high profile design that most of us prefer. The keycaps profile is standard OEM. Now flipping it on the back side, we have the modern USB Type-C port, nicely tucked inside with a decent cutout for different sizes of plugs. We also have here the physical switches for Bluetooth and for switching between Windows and Mac OS. Now turning it all over at the bottom, we have two rubber feet, two flip out stands with both having a rubber tip as well. This feature is one of those things that makes this keyboard stand out from the rest of the similarly looking 60% pre-built keyboards that don't have any height adjustment option. And lastly, we have a rather massive Keymove logo right here. Now, in terms of the layout, this keyboard features the ANSI standard, so replacing these keycaps should not be a problem. And although the fonts used on this keyboard are not the cleanest, with tons of legends for the secondary functions, I honestly don't mind it at all, at least for the time being, especially if it's your first time using a 60% mechanical keyboard. I feel like having the legends for the multimedia functions, nav cluster, and other layers will greatly help beginners to transition to this compact layout. Speaking of layout and transition experience, the Keymove Snowfox 61 features a pretty decent layer implementation and close enough to the best layer implementation the Unpro 2 has. So in order to toggle the different layers such as the arrow keys, nav cluster, multimedia, and the function row layers, you'll have to toggle those keys in combination with the FN layer located at the lower right corner. This is I think the best placement as you can easily use your pinky finger to toggle different layers, especially the arrow keys. Now one thing that the Unpro 2 got going for its advantage is the so-called Magic FN feature wherein you can use the caps lock key to act as a secondary FN key to toggle the function rows using your left hand. Now most of the budget 60% keyboards that I've tried before 
don't have that capability except for the key moves no fox 61 which you can actually change the functionality of the caps lock into the fn key via the software now what i did here is that after changing the caps lock to the fn key i then changed the menu key to the caps lock key so that i still have that option whenever i need it and to be honest i don't usually use the menu key so i'm okay with that compromise so overall, layout implementation and transition experience from full-size keyboard to a compact 60% keyboard should be a piece of cake with the Keymove Snowfox 61. Now with the fonts, layout, and layer implementation out of the way, let's talk about the keycaps, switches, and stabilizers. In terms of the keycaps, this keyboard features double shot PBT keycaps, which means it has better quality compared to the typical budget ABS plastic keycaps and has a separate material for the legends, making it essentially permanent. PBT is also better compared to ABS when it comes to oil resistance and takes much longer to shine compared to ABS. The thickness of the keycaps for this keyboard is around 1.2mm. Now when it comes to the switches, the Keymove Snow Fox 61 is available in Banggood with Gutter and Blue, Brown and Red switches. And what we have here is the clicky Gutter and Blue. Gutter and switches are well known for being smooth and for being relatively cheap and easier to procure, that's why most brands choose Gutter and. In terms of the Gutter and Blue, as expected, it has this high pitch click to it with satisfying feedback. But like I always say, I'm personally not a fan of clicky switches, but your preference might be totally different, and that's absolutely fine. If you just want some tactile feedback without a loud click, you can choose Gutter and Brown, and if you want a quieter experience, not to mention the smoothest one, you can choose the Gutter and Red. Now, after watching this video, do your own research so that you can pick the right switch for your particular preference and use case scenarios. Another thing that makes the Keymove Snow Fox 61 better than the Unpro 2 and some other 60% mechanical keyboards is that it features a hot swappable board, making it super easy to replace faulty switches or even swap all the switches entirely for a different set depending on your preference. It uses the Gateron hot swap sockets, which are compatible with the majority of Cherry MX style switches like Gateron, Kale, TTC, and even the non mainstream switches and switches with 5 pins, you just have to cut those extra 2 pins. The only downside of a hot swappable board is that the switch tends to be a little bit wobbly and of course the sockets are subject to wear and tear. Now when it comes to the stabilizers, I'd say the Keymove Snow Fox 61 has one of the better stabilizers for a pre-built keyboard and it also comes with pre-applied lubricant. It's not the best but way better compared to most budget mechanical keyboards that I've tried before. And to get a better understanding of the sound signature of this keyboard with gutter and blue switches, here's a quick typing test for you guys. Alright guys, now let's turn this keyboard on and check out the different key combinations and lighting effects. As you can see with the white backplate, the RGB illumination on this keyboard is really bright and vibrant. And since the SMD LEDs or surface mounted LEDs on this keyboard are capable of producing 16.8 million colors, the transition between the animation and colors are quite smooth. Here's how it looks when all the lights are turned off so that you can have a better idea of how bright the illumination on this keyboard is. So essentially, you can easily use this keyboard in a fairly dim environment like this. Now to adjust the brightness, just press Fn plus P or Fn plus open bracket. To change the lighting effects, all you have to do is press Fn plus close bracket. So here are all the different lighting effects at your disposal. Thank you. 
So basically, we have a total of 13 different lighting modes, which you can also toggle by the way by pressing Fn plus backslash. Aside from that, we also have the multimedia layer, which you can toggle using Fn plus A to H. Then we also have the nav cluster here, and of course the arrow keys here which you can toggle using the same Fn plus key combination. Now to increase the speed of the animation, you can press Fn plus semicolon or Fn quotation mark. And like I said earlier, toggling different layers is quite easy using your pinky finger. Now for Bluetooth connectivity, you can connect this keyboard up to 3 devices, and all you have to do to pair this keyboard with your PC, smartphone, tablets, and the like, just press Fn plus Z, X, or C for at least 3 seconds until the letter blinks, indicating that it is now ready to pair. Open Bluetooth settings on your host device, pair it, and you're good to go. As per my testing with Bluetooth 5.1 on this keyboard, latency is pretty minimal. I didn't encounter any significant input lag and disconnections for both typing and gaming, and I'd say wireless performance with the Keymove Snowfox 61 is pretty good and reliable. As for battery life, this is also one of the things that are better compared to the Unpro 2 and other wireless 60% mechanical keyboards out there with a massive 3000 mAh of battery. It has yet to die on me on the duration of my review, and it is safe to say that it should last a week or so with power saving kicking in from time to time. Alright guys, now let's talk about the performance of the Keymove Snowfox 61 and my overall experience. In terms of the NKRO feature, or the feature that allows you to press multiple keys at the same time without conflicts, in Bluetooth mode, the key rollover is up to 6 keys at the same time as you can see here. But in wired mode, you can pretty much press as many keys as you want without any issue. They are all registering at the same time. As for the typing experience, with the clicky and tactile Gatter and Blue Switch, typing experience at least for the feedback it provides is quite satisfying. You can definitely feel every keystroke and a testament that you are indeed using a mechanical keyboard compared to let's say a soft and mushy membrane keyboard. Now like I always say, switch preference varies highly depending on each individual. But as an objective observation, typing with the Gatter and Blue is pretty satisfying though quite obnoxious and loud. Now, when it comes to gaming, again, switch preference could highly vary. Some people prefer clicky and tactile switches for games that require accuracy, and some people prefer quick and linear switches for faster key activation for FPS games. As for Bluetooth performance in gaming, i say it is definitely a pass. I was able to play Valorant without any significant delay, which is awesome. But again, I don't recommend wireless for gaming. It is always the best choice to go direct wired, especially for FPS games. But yeah, the wireless performance of the Keymove Snowfox 61 is pretty darn good, even for FPS games. Alright guys, before we head into our conclusion, let me just quickly tackle about the software. Alright guys, so right here we have the software for the Keymove Snowfox 61, and we also have here the shadow version. And if we click on the icon, it will reveal the lighting settings. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lighting effects that you can take advantage using this software. And the change actually takes effect immediately on your keyboard, as you can see here. And what's interesting here is the audio cap, which is essentially an audio visualizer. So if I play a music, the lighting effects will then react to the um, audio being played by your host device. So of course, right here, we have the option to change the opacity speed, bandwidth, angle gradient, and different uh, settings for the lighting effects. Aside from that, we also have here the keyboard settings, wherein you can pretty much change a keys function to a different one, like the uh, default keys here, numpad, media, system, mouse, and you can also disable the function of the key entirely, use it to uh, toggle different layers, and yeah, we have one, two, three, four different layers that you can use. And I think you can also program that or you can also set that to a particular program right here. But this is kind of confusing and I haven't really figured this out. But I think you can create different profiles different for a different uh, for a certain particular um, program right here. Um, that's one downside of the software. It's kind of hard to figure out at first. But if you have the time to tinker with this, I think this is quite powerful to be able to uh, cater to your personal preference and work uh, workflow or work efficiency. But yeah, for me personally, I just use this to change my caps lock settings, like I said earlier, to FN or to the function key. And then I change my uh, menu key to the caps lock so that I still have that option whenever I need it. So I can use my caps lock now as a function key to toggle the function rows here up top as well as my media keys using my left hand. So I think that's one handy feature. Because some other mechanical keyboards 
doesn't give you the option to remap the function button or the function key. So this one does, does that for you or you have that option here. Aside from that, you can also remap these functions just in case you don't like the uh, standard placement of these uh, functions like the Bluetooth connectivity, the lighting effects, you can remap that to a different key. So yeah, this software I feel like is um, powerful if you have the time to tinker with this. But like I said, it's kind of confusing at first, especially that there's no tooltip whenever you hover on these settings. It doesn't give you any information on what it does other than the simple tasks that you can do here. So basically on each key, you can change the function as well as the lighting effects. And then right here, we have the macros. Again, it's kind of confusing on how to start, I guess, this one. And then to delete that. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of confusing. And personally, I'm not going to use this. So there's that. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the software. Again, I feel like it has a lot of potential to be better. And I hope that uh, Keymove uh, polish the software a little bit more. So that's more intuitive, especially for beginners. So to conclude, the Keymove Snowfox 61, in my opinion, is now one of my go-to recommendations for a budget wireless 60% mechanical keyboard. It has everything I'm looking for on a 60% keyboard, like an adjustable stand, physical switch for power and OS compatibility, a large battery, hot swappable board, decent switch and stabilizers, and usable software. One thing that I think they need to do is to polish the software a bit to make it more intuitive and easy to understand. Other than that, this keyboard is definitely worth considering and an easy recommendation for me. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Huge thanks to Banggood for sending this in and for their continued support on this channel. You can get this keyboard from their official website link below and you can also use my code to get an extra discount. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a great day guys, you're awesome.